Have you ever jumped in a pool which was freezing cold and then you notice that the water is no longer cold to you? This is an example of heat exchange which can be measured using calorimetry. Calorimetry can be derived from the word calor which in Latin means heat and metry which in Greek means measurement. So we'll be presenting an experiment about heat measurement in a closed thermodynamic system. Item used to perform this experiment are a styrofoam board and styrofoam cups. Not that big but most preferably a smaller one. A lighter. A small cardboard box. A lid to cover the cup. Protective gloves. A refrigerator. A glass beaker. A digital scale. And finally, water was used in performing this experiment. First step is to insulate the box. We'll be using styrofoam for the bottom of the box and the four walls. We'll be using a blade. We'll heat it up enough for it to cut a straight line in the styrofoam and make it more easy cut. As we can see, the base can be placed at the bottom and then these will be used inside to make sure that the box is insulated. We'll be repeating this step again for the two other sides of the box. And they will be placed this way accordingly and then this way we made sure that the box is insulated we'll be using water of two temperatures one of which is 100 degrees celsius heated by the heater provided by uob and the other of which is between negative 5 to negative 10 degrees celsius we will be filling this beaker for the hot water at 100 milli. Now we'll be measuring the mass of the glass beaker using this scale. It is 181.5 grams. Now we need to take it and fill it with water and measure the mass again. Uh, we'll be measuring the mass of the cup. We'll be placing the ice in and uh, using the scale and it will be 2.8 grams. Next we'll measure the cup with the ice in it which will give us a mass of 68.3 grams. Now we'll be measuring the mass of the glass beaker with the water filled inside it using this scale again, which is 270.5 grams. Now we will take the glass beaker to the heater to heat the water until it reaches 100 CBC. Okay, so the temperature just reached 100 Celsius. We need to take off the glass beaker. Now we'll be measuring the mass of the glass beaker, which will be 291.6 grams. We'll be using two styrofoam cups, and there will be a lid on top of it, and the thermometer will be here. We're using this for complete insulation and for the heat exchange to, to be done. We'll put it in the box and we'll close it for it to be insulated. And then the thermometer will be inserted here. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. Now we'll mix the ice into this cup. And we'll add the hot water and mix it with the ice.
put the insulator cap and now we'll measure the temperature difference And now, we're moving on to the theoretical part of our experiment. Starting up by assuming that the system is fully insulated. Therefore, the law of conservation of energy applies to our system, which means that the amount of energy within the system will remain constant throughout this experiment. In our experiment, we started off by adding ice to our system, which had a temperature of negative 10 degrees Celsius. And then the hot water of temperature 85 degrees Celsius was added to the system. With both bodies of different heat energy levels in the same system, they will eventually reach thermal equilibrium as the second law of thermodynamic state. So, the heat energy will flow from the hot body to the cooler body, so from the hot water to the ice, until they both reach a point where the temperature will remain constant. The theoretical final temperature reached by our system was 40 degrees Celsius, and the theoretical final temperature can be calculated using the following equation, which uses mass specific heat and temperature of both the ice and the hot water. The calculated theoretical final temperature was 58.72 degrees Celsius and the deviation between our theoretical and experimental results was calculated to be 32%. The error percentage appeared in our video was because of few reasons. One of them was that the beaker was not fully insulated from the sides as well as the time taken to remove the beaker from the boiler to the experiment table, which leaded to heat loss to the atmosphere. Therefore, to improve this experiment in the future, we could add insulation to the sides of the beaker, as well as reducing the time taken for the beaker to be removed from the boiler to the experiment table. And in the end, I hope you really enjoyed our video and gained knowledge from this experiment. Have a good day.